Hi everyone, I'm here with Nameless and we're gonna do a black lace. So I have my nails painted a French pink that is Peacefully Me by Dazzle Dry. I'm going in with just some plain black acrylic paint. It is made by Apple Barrel and you find it at the craft store. Now, I have my brush, it's just the wand and it's at robinmosesnailart.com. Okay, now I'm putting, I'm gonna do lay, um, like a black lace idea. And um, so I have the brush about three quarters of the way filled with the black and it's really thin. In fact, it's a little bit too thick, so let me thin it down. And, um, and then you want to put the brush as flat to the nail as possible. And then you take the, the brush right think of it look at the cuticle go right in the center push and then there's your line that you follow okay with the line you follow you just boom down then you push harder and then meet <clears throat> push harder on the other side and meet then again okay, the next layer i'm going to go push meet push meet push push then with the next layer i will do a flower so i'm going to do one two three four five six okay that's the center then i'm going to go in push meet to the center push meet to the center and then I go under there with another another one pushing and meeting at the center you don't want a lot of craft paint at the bottom of the nail because it wears so if I did finish this design I would I would put two tops of top coat on this and I'll talk about that more but um, but Mostly I want to show you the angles of the brush and the way that I use it to get the swirls because learning swirls is very difficult. So now that I have this, I'm going to go up and go up and go up. And then I'm going to dot, 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 dot. And um, just kind of move the dots around and make a lacy effect. And then I'm going to dot, 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 just to give it, okay. Now, when I, fir when I first started my channel, I did a whole bunch of lace designs like this, and they were a little bit too hard, or they weren't well received, so I want to do a newer one. This one is so fun and so classic that I, I feel like it has to be done twice. Um, okay, so this one... I'm gonna go down the mid. I, I see the light down the middle, right? Then I push and pull around, push, pull around. They don't have to be exactly perfect, but the better that you get, the more perfect it gets. And and holding your your brush correctly, I have my finger mounted to my hand, which mount is to the desk, so it's straight and flat and solid. Then I take my brush and then paint with it by pushing and pulling instead of trying to draw all of the filigree. I think that um, all of these, are. I have a whole bunch and you can find them in the Elegant playlist. These will be in the Elegant playlist. But um, I wanna show you that this kind of design can look great and not be perfect because it gives like this fluid form that is awesome. And it doesn't look like anything and you can use it for weddings or um, anything that you have to do that's black tie or where you want your nails to be grabbed a lot this is something that men love like when you go out um, guys like this design they like red nails and they like designs like this and like when I when I get people that have husbands that come in and watch this is the kind of stuff they love watching so like um, I just want to show that to you guys just in case like if you have a client who has you know somebody that comes with her every time that likes watching you paint this is a good one <laughs> 
<laughs> it really is. So anyways, okay, so let me zoom out a little bit because I wanted to get an idea what you, so when it's finished, it looks like this and look at that. Now I, I, I just showed you a little spectrum so that when I back out, you can see how elegant it looks and every one of them is imperfect, but it's perfectly imperfect. So now I just have regular um, chrome glitter. I think this is like this is like a dollar on eBay. I mean, you can find chrome glitter at the dollar store now, pretty much. And um, there was no such thing of it as it a year ago. <laughs> How crazy is that? A year ago there was none, and now there's so much. So this is a perfect example of when you would use textile medium. Okay, so any kind of medium that you can put into the paint that goes on denim. So if you're painting on denim, this is a great thing. Okay, so it comes out white like this, and it's real liquidy. But what happens is, is that it mixes with the silver chrome, right? And it doesn't dry out right away. So you can paint with the silver chrome, and then it dries nice and tight to the nail. It doesn't peel or chip. And you, you can use it with regular polish or gel. You just put it in between the coats of gel or in between the coats of polish. But it sticks, and it's a great highlighter. So I'm going in with that now, okay? I have plenty of time because it doesn't have to dry so fast. So I'm just going to go in to the centers of some of these things and highlight like this around and really give you an idea of how this catches light. Um, the first time that I did this on film, there was no way for me to show how it catches light. Um, and it was really sad to me because I really wanted to show you guys all of this stuff that I could do, but um, I just couldn't. I didn't have the right film and camera and stuff, but now I do and I hope that you guys get it because it doesn't cost a lot to get beautiful nails. But look at how the, the chrome powder can accentuate your design and make it pop without having to paint the whole thing. I'm going to go again. And boom. And I'm putting these up today. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing a see how long it takes me to do a video in one day. I want to I see and see if I can beat my time. I always do it with nail art, but never with videos. There's that. And I'm going to do one more so I can show you the difference between the two. But just I'm just going along with my brush. And that this is where I just use the thin part of my brush, using it just to highlight. And there. Like this. 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 Okay. So when you look, let me zoom out. There's that one. Let me see your other hand really quick, just just real quick together. So so do you see the difference between the two where I've highlighted one and not the other? I'm gonna finish and meet you back. Okay, so now I'm just basking my in the splendor of these nails. <laughs> okay, let me let me zoom in. Oh, well, you know what? I'm gonna let you. I good. yeah. Will you please just do the thumbs and the pinkies? Just show everybody your nails and the way you do it. And so. um, and just know that this is not something that you learn overnight. But at the same time, once you learn the technique of it, and I hope that I gave you some hints and tricks. Um, this is something that is in your bag of tricks forever. Now I only used one top coat. I mean, just one not color. Uh, too close or too far. Yeah, you just have to slow there we go. across, and they come into focus. But um, anyways, you guys can you guys can um, practice this as a means to try and get this into your bag of tricks because it is something that you do take with you forever, and you can mix and match this with so many different techniques. So I hope you guys like it, and um, if you want to go to the elegant playlist or search robin moses lace for a million different types of uh, lace tutorials that are all in the elegant playlist but i have so many tutorials now that it's hard to really find them but so you have to be kind of exact in your searches so anyways i will see you back with more get brushes and join me and um thank you for watching bye everyone bye just as an afterthought i'm going to change the lights just to be on the safe side and so i turned them down and I'm going to turn them down a little more just so that you can catch the different highlights because as I was taking pictures, 
I don't know if you guys can see the highlights. So let me just change, change these lights a little bit. They're so shiny. I know, they're so shiny. So there's one, there's an idea. You can see how the, how the chrome really hits right there. So that, that's with one top coat. If I wanted to, to over time, these seal flat and you, and you won't see the little, the little divots like this. They flatten out when they dry completely. These are still really wet. So, um, so like I will show you this and s show you how awesome. So anyways, there, I, I had to add that because it's better to add it than to say, oh, I wish I would have. So anyways, I'll see you back with more. Bye. Bye.